Aries, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more Empath Energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, let's dive right in Aries and see what messages Spirit has for you. So I feel like there's been an opportunity that's been presenting itself. However, I feel like you've been blocking it. I feel like there's a resistance towards it. I feel like your intuition is guiding you towards this particular outcome. However, you're not trusting the guidance system that's coming forward. And understand that this energy energy and this uh, new outcome is going to be what is going to bring you to your salvation. It's going to bring forward a lot of opportunities. It's going to promote a lot of growth in your love life and your finances. And so right now, the most important thing for you to do is find yourself in a grounded state. It feels like right now the energy is just too scattered and it feels like the, uh, uh, feels like your energy centers are just too stimulated. And when we are in our working life, our professional life, and we are go, 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 and, uh, think, 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 and, and, and we're constantly busy. We really are as overstimulated and we're overstimulating our senses. And that's why the universe is saying that you're going to have a much better outcome and a much better, um, uh, 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 um, you want to have more clarity when you promote or when you prioritize, I should say, uh, destimulating your energy. So this can come in the form of nature. This can come in the form of exercise, um, but there needs or meditation, but there needs to definitely be some growth when it comes to, um, uh, focusing on the act of, you know, destimulating, uh, your senses, because when we are too overstimulated, it comes in the, in the form of overwhelm, uh, depletion, exhaustion, uh, feeling overwhelmed, um, you know, just feeling like we're not capable of achieving things. And when we're in this state, then we can, we create our reality from this basis. And then things start to look very, uh, bleak here in our human experience, because we are only seeing things from a viewpoint of overwhelm. And so in order to be able to achieve a lot more growth and a lot more experience here, there needs to be a degree of evolution. Cause I can see here that there's going to be a new experience coming forward, a new beginning, a new opportunity, but this opportunity is going to flow in when you have a newfound sense of self, which comes from when you take time to have some self care, deplete your, uh, excuse me, clear away your energy and simply come from just a newfound perspective. So there is going to be a new opportunity that's going to present itself here, Aries. This is going to be very exciting, but the universe is saying, look, just go with the flow here because it is going to present itself. You don't need to stress and you don't need to effort your way. And that's creating the stimulated energy. So, you know, in order again, to be able to achieve the more that we desire, we have to be satisfied with what is, and we don't want to be putting energy and action into something from a forced efforted or pressured type of way, because it's just going to promote a lot of blockages and a lot of resistance. So the universe is saying, just relax, allow this process to unfold. You are learning everything you need to learn and you are becoming the, the, the best version you can possibly become so that you're ready for this new beginning, this new opportunity that you're waiting to create. Because at this time, it doesn't, it, the universe is saying, you've got to be ready. And in order to be ready, there are particular lessons that need to be learned. And right now there needs to be an energy of, yeah, there needs to be an energy of, 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 of growth, of recognizing and being aware of when you're applying energy into what it is you're trying to achieve from a scarcity type of way, because the more is always going to come, but we, the more comes when we're satisfied with what currently is. So your only task in this current ex existence right now, Aries is to just find ways to be satisfied. And that's literally just doing what you're doing. Stay on the same path, put energy into what you're trying to create, be okay with what is literally so that again, that more will flow into your life here. And that is again, Buffalo spirit, when the abundant universe will be able to provide absolutely validating that so accurately, but here's koi fish spirit, right? And koi fish spirit and five of pentacles is similar. It's the universe letting you know that anytime you are in a scarcity vibration or feeling like you need more money, feeling like you don't have enough, feeling like you're not, these, these results are not achievable. You know, you want to be mindful that, you know, the, the lesson in koi fish here is that koi fish 
grow big in a small pond. And it, so it doesn't matter where your circumstances currently are, are keeping you, Aries, or where you're at in your life, no matter what you own or where you have or where you live or any of that stuff. It matters about where your mindset is. Is your mindset of abundance? Is your mindset of uh, development? Is your mindset of growth? Or is it of lack? Is it of not enough? You know, is it of, you know, uncertainty? Because there's a, there's a big difference in terms of what energy you're putting into something. And the only way this is ever going to be um, balanced out is if you prioritize connecting to your higher self and then coming from an inspired place to create things. If you don't feel inspired to do something, don't put energy into it. Right? Because if it's not an inspired act, then it's not the right kind of energy. And so just simply wait for this inspiration to come. And a lot of the times we have to release what we feel like needs. We, we need to release this pressure so that we can instill our creative energy, our creative flow. Because our creative flow gets pinched off when we are putting pressure on ourselves or when we're trying to effort our way or when we have an act of trying. You know, Aries, it's like if you're like, you know, trying to win somebody over, right? You're trying to, you know, win love over, trying to bring love into your life. When we're trying, it, it we almost, we over text or we might over call or we might take what they say personally because we're really trying to figure out what's going on or, you know, take actions the wrong way. You know, whenever we're trying, it's such an efforted way. And the universe is saying that you are a magician to your life with the magician card. And now you're in the perfect opportunity to be able to feel out what the next action should be. Again, this is a feeling uh, universe, right? We create from the way that we feel. How does something make you feel? If it feels good, keep putting energy into it. If it doesn't feel good, you know, it, it, it's perhaps not the right uh, best use of your time and energy, right? You want to always be mindful about um, feeling out the scenario. This goes with everything in life, because if we don't start to feel our way, then what happens is we start to create habits based upon a false premises. Perhaps at one point something felt good and then we kept doing it. You know what I mean? And then we kept doing it and doing it. It didn't feel good anymore, but we kept doing it, hoping for that same result. And we just want to be mindful when the energy has shifted. And sometimes it's good to just let things be, you know, there's, there's times where we just need to let things come to a rest so that we can reclaim our power. And right now with Panther Spirit, it's just reminding you that the choice is always yours. And a lot of the times we continuously do the same habits and apply the same behaviors because it once worked for us. And sometimes in a day, we don't need to apply those same behaviors. So just be mindful about that Aries at this time. And just know that, you know, you're in the exact position you're meant to be. And in order for us to be able to feel like we are moving forward in this game of life, we have to be generous of spirit. And what that really means is we have to make sure that we're letting our spirits guide us, not our conscious thinking mind, right? And whenever our spirits are guiding us, we're coming from an inspired place. And it's just whatever feels good, what brings you excitement, what brings you joy, what's inspiring you right now to take action. And if it doesn't feel inspiring, then just do what, that, just do what doesn't uh, leave you feel inspired. Because at this time, it's important to know that it's your mind that will take you away from what, what real reality is. And our minds are, again, so limited. Our minds only give us information from what we've experienced so far. So it leaves things very, uh, it leaves us with a, a, a low, um, a perspective of possibility because we feel like we're not capable. Well, I don't know enough. I don't have enough money. I don't have this. How is it ever going to be possible? Right. But when we connect to the divine and when we connect to our spirits, then we allow source. And when we, we allow our guides and angels to guide us, and then we feel this, 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 this limitless potential because we understand and we remember who we are. If we are not having a daily practice of connecting to our guides and angels and the divine, we're, we're walking around a forest lost, you know, we're walking around this human experience lost, you know, and when we are connected, we then have that guidance system to lead us to the path of salvation. And it's just about trusting our intuition. So if the one thing that you spend your time doing right now, Aries, it's learning how to follow and trust your intuition in all areas of life. This is going to come off as difficult because there's going to be programs instilled, but the more that you put energy and time into building this skill of trusting your intuition, the easier and the more happy and the more graceful and peaceful your life will be.
All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Aries. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.